Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. James Pickard here, courtesy of Brittany Ferry's Golf Desk. This is an exciting one. So today we're playing Omaha Beach. And what we're gonna do, I got the Buzzman is on the camera. Hello. What we are gonna do is we're gonna do the first, uh, first few holes on the Manoir course, so the Manor course. And then we're going to go and play Le Mer, which is the sea course. And we're gonna kind of have a bit of both courses going on. Yeah, so we're gonna have 18 holes of Probably the best 18 of the 36, but it's more how they blend. It sounds like the overall complex there. They're all yeah, pretty, sounds really good. pretty so good. This this first section, this nine holes, is going to be on my channel. The second is going to be on Steve, so make sure you check them both out. Things are not exactly evenly poised in this match, but hey ho. Yeah, we're playing for points. You, we may do some challenge videos as well, so you need you I need to need to, you, you need to win and you need to make some birdies. Yeah. Because that's basically what I did to you yesterday. Yeah. So, let's see how we get on. Okay, so the first hole here, dog leg right. It's a par four. By 16. 433 yards, dog, like, not a gentle opener. Mm, is it? Steve with 16. Into the wind, that bunker is in play on the right. Yeah. Out the left ones. Is that getting to them? I'm sure I hit the shot I was trying to hit. It's actually quite tight. I think it is. I think it's a tough little starting hole. Yeah, I really liked it, and the longer it went, the more confusing it got. Okay, I'm going to go with one iron. And one iron? Yeah. Yeah, one iron works. So I'm going kind of, I'm going to try and get it between them. Yeah. Just turning a little bit. Yeah, down the left. That's in the trap, I think. In. We both could be bunkered there, really. Yeah, let's get up there and see. So James finds himself in the left trees. I am the other side of the trees. Similar distances, but we're gonna have very different shots. Although I suppose you can punch one low through there. Yeah, 194. So being further out actually helps because you can into this wind. Yeah, well I've got my forearm back in the bag now. Yeah? Yeah, so there's a bunker, like the pin is almost like it's kind of tucked behind the bunker. You, you, need to think of, you need to think of tree A and tree B before you worry about that, my friend. Send it through there. I'm too worried about the trees. James in the way but it's hooking. Left of the green. Okay. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's just a bit, a bit okay. I didn't really. I wanted to play the cut, but that first string no. was right in line for it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Get to Steve's ball. It's definitely an easier shot. It's got probably 180, 185. Pin flapping around. 183. 183. Yeah. Uh, These are a fairly stiff one. Oi, oi. Five iron. Yeah, it's kind of that low, low flighted, slightly turning. Low flighted cut. Yeah. I don't know what's in front of the green, but it doesn't look particularly There's a, healthy over. No, there is a bunker. Yeah, I should carry it up there. It's turning left as well. Oh. Pretty good. Is it on? It pitched on, it may have gone onto the fringe. It's not so too bad. Pretty good from that distance. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to get a little what the player sees. So we're both down from the green. We haven't practiced our putting, but this looks delicious. Yeah? Yeah, it looks really good. 
Yours is kind of held up and pretty happy to be there. Yeah, it's not too bad. I can't have too many complaints either. Straight up the hill, both of us. Watch it up. A bit too long. A little bit, Pam. Par chance. And Steve, nice lie. Not too fluffy. Are you 58ing? Yeah, like you yeah. can see my pitch mark there. It, it it tried to hold on, but this is as easy as it gets. No, I got 54. Okay. Shy. I was trying to hit, so it was easy, I just don't know how to do it, apparently. <laughs> Awful bounce. Okay, so two very average approaches in from there, really. Steve putting up the hill. He's putting so well earlier, I'm sure he'll continue. Sitting after the chip. It's in the past now, Steve. You gotta just do what's out in front of you. Damn, that's an awful bogey from me. This will feel like a double win for James. Oh. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna go with a half. I'm gonna give you that anyway. Yeah, I've given you yours already. Yeah. So, anticlimactic. Yeah. But all the stories, they happen at the end of the movie, not the beginning, so. Don't take my five cent, you little rascal. Oh, I haven't got five, I've got 20. That's what we'll be fighting over at the end. <laughs> that's, that's where the, These points mean nothing! Yeah. Give me your money! That's you could do with 20 points. <laughs> Have it, 20 points. Okay, on to the second after the anti-climax of that first hole. 171, did I say? 171.99. Yeah. Even at the middle, wind's coming this way. I'm not sure it's helping quite as much as thinking but I just wanted to like buffer it at the pin. And just the left side. And see that down. I was always going to struggle to get it back there but it's on the green. Yeah. Can he complain? It's probably an eight really isn't it? Yeah, it's, in, it's all you draw a nine. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it. What have you gone with? I got nine actually. I'm gonna use this side so I can use the wind a bit more. Yeah. Makes sense. I've got nine because my eight's in the bag. So yeah, I'm gonna go kind of bunker with this and try and really bring it in. See if we can get it back there. Done as he was describing. Right. Release just inside of mine, very good. Very good indeed. And who's this one named after, James? I didn't see the sign. I'm gonna have to look. So all the holes here are named after kind of um, top generals, etc. in the army. The first hole was Dwight Eisenhower. This one will tell us in a second who this is after. Do you know who it is? I don't know, you don't seem to be in much of a rush. Come on. Stanley... Stanley Hollis. Ah, GB. The only man to have been awarded the Victoria Cross for his heroic actions on the 6th 1944 in Normandy. 
like that. Oh, really, really, awesome. really nice touch that. That's awesome. Isn't yeah, it? really like it. Very impressed. Yeah, so you do this on every hole. That's pretty cool. Okay, up to the green. Steve's got 15, 14, 15 feet. And I've got probably 8 to 10. There's a couple of pretty good tee shots in there. Turn. It's okay. Just drove that one. It turned just a little bit more than I thought it would. Yeah, it did go quite a long way. So James, this would be a great start for him because because of the points we're playing for. He needs <laughs> not. He needs not only to win. You need birdies. Yeah. You need five. You need five birdies. It's like, you know, when a team's trying to get out of the group stages and they need to beat the last team 8-0. Yeah. It's a bit like that. That's kind of how it's feeling. It's coming off the right a little. I think this one's more up than mine. I don't think this one turns anywhere near as much. Mm. That's dead straight. Yeah. Oh. It's fine. It's fine in the world of Buzzman and Team USA though, if you're going to miss those ones. Got to get some pressure on me, my lad. I know, I know. God damn it. <laughs> Don't worry, you're only letting down the whole of Europe. To a trader. <laughs> so this hole number three is named after Major General Norman Cota of the US. He actually got one of the first beach landings to happen. Scary. Yeah. Looking forward to some exploring later. Yeah, we're going to go to the museum. I'm, I'm excited to do that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Here we go. Not sure what the line is. I was so adamant that you were going to win either the first or second. I, I came to the tee thinking, well, at least I can see where he goes. <laughs> I don't know if you clear the bunker on the left. It's got to be kind of right side of the first bunker. I almost feel the hole does that, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know what? I'm just going to hit it. the left. It's the first time I've heard the roar on this trip because you've driven the ball so well. That's the reason I was aiming then. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's driver. I was, a, I was oh. afraid of, I was afraid of going through the gap and yeah. through the other side. I'm just gonna go for every I'm going for the I'm gonna try for the furthest bunker. But like my my one there it looks I think I've just hit it. Doesn't really look like there's much down on the left. So it seemed a better option than the hedge. See a tight line down the left, far better strike. Yeah. I think I was right, if I'd hit one straight, it would have run the risk of going through. Yeah, no, I think. But it's right. also very risky if you decide to go polar opposite. So we'll have to wait and see where I am. Not the best to start, so. What have you got, James? One, two, one. So 102. I have cut everything. Because I'm a big dog. I actually found the fairway. Yeah. But I was right. You can see why I was worried about hitting it straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I would have lost it. Not sure. I, I, I think it's a three iron up here. If you're playing an event, what are you going with? I got 50. The old 50. Going across the wind now a little bit. Yeah, pins. 
it looks like those three tiers, there's it looks like it's right tiers. in the middle. It's the middle tier, that's all. So getting the distance right, vital. It's definitely got the line right. Here. Bottom tier. Not sure how deep it is, it might not actually be that far away. But on the green, could be in worse places, James. Yeah. Like in a hole under a tree. Many other examples I could get. Okay, so 100 exactly for the Buzzman. Feels into now? Straight into it. I'm fairly strong, but we're quite low. Yeah. It's definitely still there. You've got 54? No, I've got 50. 50. I might hit in my 50. I've, I've got 104 shot with my 54. I'm, I'm hitting that shot yeah. with my 50. And if the calculations are correct. Or if probability just means I magically do something, it's a good close. Slowly coming back down, is it? Got up there and came back. That tier might be slightly bigger than we thought. Yeah. Pretty happy with the shot. The problem is you can't go, well, I'll try and make sure I go over that because you then go over that second tier. Yeah, and then it doesn't come back down. Exactly, and you've got a tough part, so. Just playing a little chess match at the minute, just trying to it counter. Doesn't, it, it doesn't matter to you, though, Counter does it? all your moves. It doesn't make any difference no. to you. <laughs> So when we do 42 challenges later 42 on. 42 challenges. On names of James, middle names of James's cousins. <laughs> I don't even know them. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> You'd actually beat me. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that would be a game of probability. I'm going with John. Oh, Mar you. Margaret John. You bugger. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it is. I think you're right. You said it with such certainty. Yeah, so I pitched, kind of pitched at 10 feet, didn't I? Yeah. You know, with the 50, I was trying, can't expect it to get back, but probably a yard away from being very good. But sometimes that is what the margins are. Can't complain, straight up the hill. James, slightly longer. Very similar situation. Yeah, James is more of a bowl where I'm just straight up. So send it off to his right and hit it pretty hard. If you do those things, oh, I thought that had a chance. Yeah, that's good. I thought that had a chance. You just kind of straight up right yeah. in. Yeah, he just hit it a bit hard. It's really unfortunate. Donald yeah. in the number. I'm feeling for you. I, I promise you if I hit it that distance by it, doesn't spin back. It's definitely warm here. Beautiful. Glad the uh, wind is up a little. Steve coming more, it's a much straighter putt than mine was. See a front pin position would be like delicious on this hole. It all just bundles into the middle area. I'm saying that if you get it in the middle here. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Wanted five more points. Doing it far too straight. Naughty little bear. I can't see Steve missing this one. I'm going to make him put everything now, though. Oh, 
good for me but it's not a very good putt.